Mm. This week on Club House Games, it's Takoyaki. So go, we gotta flip the octopus balls. Mm. Hey, can you, help, can you help me out a bit here? Uh, it's uh, actually kind of hard to make takoyaki. I'm eating my own. You should have got some from the store. Well, oh. you no, know, I'm making my own. Making them at home. That's the way you do it, baby. Where'd you get an octopus? We don't ask these questions, okay? Are you... That doesn't... What are you even making? I'm making octopus balls! Wait, what? No, create a lobby. There we go. I wish for you to be in here so that we may partake in delicious takoyaki. I'm trying to. I'm, try I'm trying to find you. I actually had some at Disney, and it was really good. So what, are they, what are they making out of? Well, the, it's authentic. It was at Epcot. So, got the official stuff. Uh, ch I changed my thing again. Uh, I was a little squidman! So, it's a squid person that's based on the art style they use for the the uh, in-game card yeah. game. Yeah! Like, you know how they have, like, Triple Tried and Final Fantasy VIII and Gwent and Witcher? Yeah. Well, Splatoon 3 has tabletop turf battle or something. So wait, is there like an actual takoyaki ball on? Oh, wait, what? Hey, yeah. if you want takoyaki, you gotta fry them yourself. You gotta fry them yourself. Uh-huh. Here's how you fry the takoyaki. You're gonna cook the takoyaki. Whoa! How do we do Please stop that? spitting fire, Kendall. I'm gonna say he's, t he's talking in an Osaka <laughs> dialect in the Japanese version, which makes... Yeah, oh, really? That's that's, that's what they do for southern accents in those things. Oh, Alright, so you game. draw a card from the deck. Uh-huh. And then you place it an ace in, in its proper area. Right. Bam. You flip over the card oh. So then, position. once you flip that card, flip. you can put it like into its position. Pan. The goal of the game the is to flip, flip up all ten of your cards. Uh -huh. Bam, takoyaki. You, you made octopus yet. balls. Oh. And it goes oh. to nine. And then, you flip as soon card. as you're not able to, you pass. Oh! Yeah. Oh. So, it's primarily Ooh. luck, but it's a, it's a very fun game. Okay, okay. I really like this. Okay. And then, yeah. First to get all of them, bam! And then they turn into takoyaki. I can't, I can't eat that many uh, octopus balls, but that's okay. Oh, I can. They're delicious. Especially with that mayo. Mmm. Bum -ba -lum. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. I'm on board. Let's let's do it. Let's see. Sure. We got the Mario. Mario gonna make an octopus boss. Ooh, the Jokers. Those must be wild cards. Do you want to keep those on, or you want to get rid of them? No, let's keep let's keep them on. Okay. Takoyaki, go. I'm liking the summer of card games. Card games are fun. It's almost over, I think. No, that means summer's almost over. <laughs> no. Collect one to ten first. All right. So, it looks like I'll be going first. I hope you don't mind, a little squid. Mm -hmm. Two. And I'm done All right. already. All right, well, that was fun. Two. Uh, I mean... It's time for the shutout, right? Wait, oh. Hmm. The there you go. Uh, there's the ace. Wait for the shutout. And... The oh, okay. well, all right, all right. So, here's the, the here. eight. Ooh, yay, it is a wild card. All right. Let's go ten. I feel like it would have been better oh, like, come on. later in the game, you know? <laughs> you, you... Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, got a four, and there's, and there's the, your ten. There's the ten. There's, there's the ace. Oh, okay. I already got that, oh, though. It's, it's okay. That's all right. It's all right. I kind of want to go to an actual... Yep. Like, if we ever make it to Japan... By the way, Japan, look out. You're going to get a big case of us in the next <laughs> uh, 10 to 15 years. In 10 to 15, yeah. Uh, I would love to just get authentic... Authentic ramen... Just hit up a ramen shop, get some takoyaki, if we happen to be there during a festival. I would love to have sushi in Japan. Not just because, oh, yeah, you yeah, have Japan and sushi, but have you ever had fresh sushi? Oh, n never like there. We're, we're too far inland to have <laughs> I, I decent know. sushi. I went to... We uh, can't have it from water to, to plate in ten minutes or less. Oh, uh, come on. There's a, there's a place in Outer Banks, uh, North, North Carolina. There's a sushi joint there. And well, there we go. You you you, you gotta have mm -hmm. the best. Ooh. Oh, there you go. Hey, there we go. Congrats. So the Joker's kind of screwed me there for the longest time. It seems like that deck is never ending. I believe it is never ending. Yes. How else do you have two Jokers? That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Uh, do you want to go again? Same rule set. Let's keep going. This cool. is a, this this one's kind of fun. I love this game. All right, back to the takoyaki. I'm still hungry. Well, anyway, this sushi joint had just some of the best salmon rolls I've ever had. It there was, it was dear. Oh, God. What's your favorite type of sushi? Uh, unagi. Never had unagi yet. I'm a big. I, I, I love eel. Eel is good. Yum. I love eel. So tasty. 
I still have to try it. It makes me so happy to have eel. <laughs> and nobody else likes eel, so I can't buy eel anymore. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> like a summer special. No. There was too much of a coward. They make a special sauce for it. It tastes like teriyaki. Yep. It's delicious. Yeah. Man, you're, get, you're getting all these jokers here. I, I, I guess I'm a huge joker. <laughs> well, well, God damn it. I, see, I'm the jester. You're the joker. Yep. So I guess that's how that. No, works. that works. At least oh, I'm a cool right. anime boy. Yep. All right. Well. Oh right. come on. Oh, come on. <laughs> cool anime boy. <laughs> no such thing. No such thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're all a bunch of dorks. The only cool anime boy Dang. is a boy who goes to school. I don't want to go back to school. You can't make me. Whoa! <laughs> Nintendo Switch Online, what's going on? It's just local connection, that's all. And you wanted to do this just so people would know who you are. Look at my pretty little icon, it's great. I mean, it is pretty great. I don't think it's worth 10 platinum coins, but you know what? To each their own. I think it's worth 15 platinum coins. Actually, it's probably worth about like 20 or 30, given I have to, you know, spend points to make the whole frame and everything. Gotta spend points to make points. Uh, wait. How many, how, many, how many points you got? Oh wow, you oh you almost won. Uh not a lot because I keep spending them. <laughs> I got a lot. Yeah, I've got a few. Give me a four. How's that sound? I like that whenever you get a brand new game, it just adds to your platinum points, so it doesn't seem like I'm buying this game collection for nothing. Four? Hey! Aww. Congratulations! You have a full plate. Time to eat! Oh, wow, they look so great. Wait, what's with this weird one over here? This one tastes like Bowser. This one tastes like... Ugh, tuna. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love tuna. Tuna's... Ugh. Tuna. Not a big shrimp guy, though. I don't know. It's... Oh, really? Yeah. See, I decided to... So, so, I, I don't think I've had the right shrimp, though, so maybe I've just, I just haven't experienced it yet. I told myself, when I hit my 20s, stop being so picky and try things. Shrimp is bay. I love shrimp. So good. Also lobster. Maybe I just like shellfish. Oh, that seafood's good. Mm. When you have it fresh, though. One thing I haven't had yet are oysters. Haven't had a chance to have uh, oysters yet. I gotta... Gotta be in the mood for oysters. I gotta have that curated. I gotta have someone do that with me. <laughs> you want to do oyster shots later, dude? <laughs> so, so, someone who someone who knows oysters and says, "Oh no, man, this is the best place for oysters." I also haven't had a chance to have scallops. I do wish to try them sometime. Yeah, I feel like if we uh, challenge the computer on Impossible, we'll just get an entire streak. Because it really is. Do you want to try it? Uh, After a couple more rounds, maybe we'll do a couple rounds without the jokers. Yep. Yeah. Maybe. See what happens. I mean, everything is entirely luck-based. Except for the filthy cheating AI when they're just like, Oh, by the way, I got the winning streak. Okay. Let's put some numbers in here. Numbers. Ten cards in a 52-card deck uh -huh. make up the Takoyaki board. Four copies of each card. So minus the kings, the queens, the jacks, and the possible two jokers. What's the percentage on getting the perfect game? We'd be talking into that, like that we're we're talking into the <laughs> we're talking into the hundreds of a, of a percent. Yes, hundreds of percents. I'm curious if anybody in the comments is extremely good at math and percentages. Lay those numbers on me. I'm very curious to it see. Would, it would just be a long line of probability timesings. Most likely, yeah. But it's, it's I just think it'd be funny just to be like. You know, we we have that ah! we have that brain blast moment where we're just like, oh my god, the perfect game. You just gave me the victory. And then the anime guy just slams it down, just being like, bam! Oh, oh no! One turn kill. Well, I feel like a lot of this would be solved if we just, uh, you know, take the cards what? that have been discarded and then we shuffle them again. I I think we might. Oh, never mind. I was about to say we're about to run out of a deck. Hey, <laughs> you got some lacky balls there. Uh, hold on, we got a PowerPoint presentation going on here. 
And I'm holding it as close as I can, it's fine. This is my presentation on the Nintendo Switch version of 51 Clubhouse Games Takoyaki. I would Next laugh, slide, please. I would laugh if sitting back actually made it run better. Well, let's try it. Yeah, let's try it. And I'll go ahead and uh, take the jokers off. We'll try that for a little bit. Please say it runs better. Oh my god, it's running. Oh my god, it's running at 120 frames oh, per second! Oh, <laughs> it's overclocking my PC! How? 800 hertz! Ah! <laughs> oh my god! This was the upgrade the Switch needed! It's running at 4K! <laughs> you just have to connect a PC to your Switch and all of a sudden you got the Switch Pro! No, it's worse. Yeah. No, it's not. It was going good. It, it, was, it was worse. It just yeah. imme immediately started lagging as soon as I even thought. Well, it's because we talked about the Switch Pro. Every time somebody talks about the Switch Pro, it goes of another year into development. Yeah. Which means we'll probably get the Switch Pro by the time I start doing the Dead Rising 3 Let's Play. Why would we need one? I mean, haven't you looked at, the, at, at, at Sony? PS4 is still making games. So why would the Switch need to make an entirely new console? Oh, it's so sad to hear that Xbox is done making Xbox One games. They're primarily focusing on the three titles they're making for this next-gen Series X. Because that is the weakest console. Yep. And they know it, too. That's what's sad. Uh, no, it's okay. I love owning Microsoft consoles. It's the best. Yeah, you made, you made that better, yours. Because when we actually get a goddamn game, it actually runs pretty smooth. That was the perfect time to hear about smooth running consoles. Okay, I'll give it this. There are Switch emulators out there. Don't tell Nintendo, the ninjas are coming. But uh, I've seen some Switch games run on PC, and I see why, obviously, it runs better on PC, because there's more power. Well, duh. I'm still blown but away. But I can't, I can't put my PC Let in my pocket. Let me explain. Let me explain. I'm just saying it's still impressive that this is a handheld. Yeah. And we get all of this. It's like, oh, of course Tears of the Kingdom runs at, like, 4K, you know, 120 frames per second on your PC, but you can't put that in your pocket, now can you? Give me a Steam Deck! Yeah, I don't, I don't even think Steam Deck can do that, because even then that's got limitations. Not very many. <laughs> like, somebody got Resident Evil 4 Remake running on Steam Deck, and that game's gorgeous. Well, you can get a lot of games running with RE Engine. Did we run out of a deck?! You won. Oh, no, it's a draw. Okay. Okay, so it's only using 52 cards. Why are there so many limitations on this game? Ubisoft's Uno has an infinite Uno deck. Why can't this? I feel cheated. I do feel cheated Absolutely as well. cheated. Oh, here you go. How about, how about a little bit of that action right there? Bam, random. Who's getting the perfect takoyaki? You, you, you stiffed me on my fucking balls, man. <laughs> Stiffen you only on, stiffen on balls, dude. You only gave me eight octopus balls. Do you know how much not sense that makes? Well, guess what? I spent six dollars for two of them at Disney, so get hecked. Two of them? Two of them for six dollars. How big were they? Uh, normal sized. Yeah. If you've ever had takoyaki, you know what I'm talking about. I, I haven't. I've had okonomiyaki. Okonomiyaki, is that the egg one? It's a cabbage one. Cabbage one. I'm trying oh, to visualize damn. it, and it's oh, not... Oh, damn! Yeah. Oh, damn, boy! Can you, can you oh, please damn. save some game for the rest of us? Oh, damn, son! Oh, damn! I thought you were getting the, the winning streak. Damn, the perfection boy. streak. Uh -oh. oh, damn, boy, you're going to uh -oh. shack. Uh -oh. Off, queen, uh -oh. yes! Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Yes, uh -oh. Uh -oh. it's up, queen! And speaking of yes, queen... Oh, hey! <laughs> yes! Oh, yes. Dear God. It's crazy. By the way, I'm not afraid to say I'm gonna go watch the Barbie movie. It looks hilarious. Why should you be afraid? Oh, who, then again, who, who is I, making you afraid I, to watch I, the Barbie do, movie? Uh, <laughs> well, obviously Oppenheimer. He's gonna blow me up. Well, <laughs> <laughs> nah, I, I went to theaters to watch a Love Live movie. I fear nothing. Give me just flipping cards. Is this the one? No. Is this the one? No. Is this the one? No. Oh, hey, it's like a, no. a not boring version of Go Fish. You mean a boring version of Go Fish? Go Fish is boring. You haven't played the fish I've played in my day, son. <laughs> Did it get hectic? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you went again. Like, were there tears after you heard the last Go Fish? <laughs> Go Fish. I have, uh, flipped tables? Nah. Snapped tables. <laughs> 
<laughs> Damn! Broken windows, lawsuits. Oh man, I didn't know Go Fish could bring out the worst in people. Hey man, when I say if you have a three, <laughs> and you lie to me, <laughs> God help you if you lie to me, if you have a three and you, d and you tell me to go fish. I didn't know that you could lie and go fish. That's hilarious. How, well, how do you like check well, that? Well, you can't, you can't obviously, but you can if you're a fucking prick. If you're a douche. <laughs> I would love that. It's like, yeah. it's like I was talking to my friend Tyler, right? And I, I'm, I'm, I'm saying, do you have any threes? He says, go fish. And I say, go fish. I draw a card. And then he asked me, do you have any threes? And then that's when I start seeing red. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, could you play the bluff, the long bluff game and go fish? Like, it's, it's, it, it's of course a bit, though. But come to think of it, I had a lot of friends who just did not have the mental capacity to play board games. What? They just... They're board games! I, I meant like when I when I had friends over, we, we, we played uh, video games, of course, but when it came to board games, they just... <laughs> sucked! So it is real. Video games do rot your brain. They make it so that you can't play games with simple comprehension. Maybe it's the board games that are doing the brain rot here, huh? Maybe, I don't you know. think about that? I don't know. I, I did actually play a... Uh, I have a Resident Evil 3 tabletop game now. That take that took like two hours to piece together, but once we actually got it going, it was a really fun game. Yep. But uh, yeah, there were so many extra rules and everything. I was like, man, I just want to run away from Nemesis. Can I please just not die? You ever heard of a game called Axis and Allies? Yeah, that game takes forever to set up because mm -hmm. it's it's a, it's a historical uh, game based on World War II. It's basically like like a advanced Risk, I'd say. There's a, lot, there's a lot more mechanics to it. It's a lot more complex. But, uh, it takes at least an hour yeah. to set up. I've played a couple of games that just take forever to set up, and I've also played games where you open the box and bam, you're ready to go. Both have their advantages and disadvantages, of course. Oh, yeah. Have you ever played Tapeworm? That's a fun game. I played it. I've lived it. Oh! <laughs> no, 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 I haven't. No. It's the same devs who made the Binding of Isaac card game. So it makes sense why their you know, extra is, card game is called is Tapeworm. Not surprise me at all. Binding of Isaac card game actually kicks ass. I love it so much. I, I want to love Isaac, but I think he has he has hurt me too much. Yeah, hurt you too much? Maybe you should just get better at it. <laughs> no, that's that's the thing. I'm moving on to other roguelites though. Oh well, that's, been playing that's cult, fair. been playing Cult of the Lamb, yeah, been fair. been jumping back into Hades, into Hades. I've uh, mm -hmm. been doing Rogue Legacy too. That's fun. That's mm -hmm. fine. I'm doing okay. I don't mind a little bit of challenge. I like Rogue Legacy too, where it's like, hey, you want to turn off the challenge? Go right ahead. But mm -hmm. I, Binding of Isaac, it hurt. It hurt me too bad, Niskel. Yep. It hurt me too bad. Maybe I'm just built different because I don't like Hades. Is it the isometric? It might be. That that dev yeah. loves using isometric angles, and I just- I can't play any of their games. I do not like them. See, I don't- I don't mind isometric angles too bad, as, as long as I can still play it. I will say the art style also puts me off. I do not like that art style either. That's too bad, because I love the art style. The art style is one of the things that drew me to it, actually. Hey, Hades did get me for a little bit. I was just like, okay, everybody looks awesome. Then I started playing it, and I was like, god damn it, okay, well. Why don't you get better at it then? At least, I, at least I gave it a shot. Hey, I was able to play it with the best of them. But man, I just don't like how it plays. And I turned God Mode on, of course, and the third boss is a royal pain in the ass. But I'm having fun playing it. I'm liking the uh, interactions between all the characters. It's it's that's that that's drew me to it actually. That's that's what's keeping that me going actually. Oh, it's me. And especially when uh, you're, when your dad's like, oh, Bobison boy. Why don't you just, just go to your room and just stay there already? Ooh, look oh, look Oh, you got it. Right there at the end. Time to eat. Time to eat. Delicious. Yeah, time well, to eat. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna call you the victor in this one. Yay! Do you want to play the uh, impossible AI robot? Let's let's get the impossible AI. How about from now on, mm -hmm. if we have the option to play the AI, whoever officially won this round gets to play the computer. Yeah, because the AI just have it out for us. Yeah, get out of here. So here we go. Time to beat the AI at their own game. Oop, it actually went straight there. Takoyaki. Delicious. 
Ten octopus. Hey, yeah, go, go ahead and gather. Ten balls, please. <laughs> oh, there is no impossible AI. I guess that makes sense. All right, we'll bring it. Yeah, because then it would officially be cheating. Right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's see if it cheats on whatever difficulty they consider this. Hey, the impossible AI is really hard. Although, whenever he shuffles, I hear clanking and whirring. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> How do they always have the perfect algorithm to get everything they need at the very beginning? Oh, speaking of which. Never seen anybody cut cards quite like that before. <laughs> I sense foul play. Oh, really? Yep. Okay. Okay. Well, I mean, I didn't say it was impossible, though. I mean, right, right, right. Okay. We're actually fairly close. Now right, we're tied. So it literally is just based. And okay. It is just based on an uncaring, okay, unfeeling, all right. un random number generator, really. Enjoy your random numbers, because right here, this is the nine. That's a nine. Uh oh. Plus one, because you drew a card and it drew and it was one, so Stop. nine plus one. Stop. Okay. If he gets that five, you're screwed. You know, you no matter what, nine, we're just gonna go. Oh, shit, cheating bullshit! Oh. <laughs> I knew it was gonna happen, right as I had one. I would like to top deck. Okay. Looks like the only taco yaki you got were blue balls. Ew. Aoyaki. Ew. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, no. Aoyaki <laughs> is now my new favorite. All right, next time. Pig's so, Tale. The last game of the summer of card games before yeah. we get to, like, actual games. Actual where games. Where we have to, like, go outside and do them. Is it go touch grass. Go touch grass. Pig's Tale is another really fun one. So I can't wait for you to try this one out. I've never heard of this one either. It's another luck-based game, but it's very fun. I like Takoyaki. That was good. Yeah. So, yeah, let's play some Pigstail. If it's not present, I think I'm on board.